I'm Gavin here, just done some cardio, because uh, I'm just leaning out a little bit at the moment. There we are, just uh, get a little bit trimmer, focus on the old uh, taper, you know, aesthetics, all that malarkey. Um, it's quite funny, every week uh, someone asks me about a diet plan. And once in a while, um, another personal trainer or someone will put some sort of sarcastic comment towards me and say, Oh, you must be doing really well from this new thing of doing diet plans, Gav. And I think to myself, I've been doing it for 12 years, mate. I've been mean, doing it since 2000, 2004. I've been doing it since I started in this industry as an affordable measure for people who couldn't afford personal training service on a one to one level just to help them with a strategy or a plan. Now, for the cost of one PT session on a one to one level, I charge someone for a plan, which equally takes me as much time. And it's education that people, are, I find, that are most often wanting and, and in need of as much as uh, an actual strategy. But one thing I do find now, there's so many personal trainers out there, there's so many people who are doing it as a part-time recreational hobby-like business that the whole misconception of what a, an actual plan or a strategy is, well, what is it now? Is it... Let's just give you a, a pamphlet of like you see typically with most people in gyms with their new fitness instructors who's just started two weeks ago. Um, are you literally getting a, a plan that has been done for the, the last previous 50 people and there's no bespoke idea behind it? So. Whenever I do a plan for someone, I always take into account different different things. So one is lifestyle. So obviously, a plan that suits me and my personal goals will not be relevant to someone who's typically doing a who's doing strongman or typically doing a different type of sport, maybe athletics, or it might be a guy over fifty just generally wants to keep fit, does cycling, does a bit of athletics, and uh, just generally wants to stay fit but appreciate the odd beer and look after himself. Um, for his later retirement years, wants to get to retirement and enjoy it. Or it might be a female who has come into uh, the new world of fitness after having her first child and she just wants to get fit. Or it might be somebody who's morbidly overweight who wants to simply lose half their body of weight. I've done that, I've worked with people like that. I've gone from I've gone one client with excessive of 34 stone to down to sub 16 stone. And it comes down to strategy. It comes down to having that personalized plan and working it in time scales. Obviously, again, going back to previous videos I've done on YouTube, you can appreciate I talk a lot about uh, people who want quick fixes. And unfortunately, we do live in this Western society that everyone does want everything now. And the reality is with when it comes to your body and your health, it needs to be a lifestyle, a lifelong ambition to be healthy and fit, not just something that you just pick up one minute and you drop the next. The problem is now, we, there's so much dilution out there in terms of everyone's an expert, everyone's got an opinion. And unfortunately, what might work for one person might not necessarily work for somebody else. And I've had these debates with other trainers. I've got friends who train uh, some of the best sports stars on the planet. I've got uh, I've got a contact on my Facebook who actually prepped Ben Affleck for the latest uh, Batman film. It's been quite inspiring to see who, what he's been up to. And like I say, there's so many thoughts and processes out there that I find the trainers who have stuck around the longest tend to be the ones who are doing well from the industry, so much so that it's a sustainable income for them. And naturally they're going to be around for, for the long for the longevity it's not something they're going, to, they're going to do this week and drop the next it's not something which they're going to do as a part-time recreational hobby like business it's it's a full-time commitment for many but then equally i do find that there are a lot of trainers out there who are just generally ripping people off and i do get a little bit annoyed with that if i ever have uh, an issue with somebody by the way uh, where they're not happy with my plan, I tend to just refund them. And also, with doing my personalised plans, I do always offer the option and opportunity to do it on a one-to-one face-to-face. But obviously, 
if you're in America, it's going to be more cost effective to just do it online than it is to uh, do it on a face to face because I'm in the UK and at the moment I'm doing plans for people in America, I'm doing plans for people down south in the UK, up north. I get inquiries from all over the globe because we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook now, we're on social media and the whole world is coming together on a platform and um, it's never been so easy to communicate your message but again I find that um, doing plans really is is something that people don't really understand so much about so let me give you a few tips and advice on when choosing a, a plan with a trainer try and go through their history look at um, previous testimonials transformations um, ask them for transformations, ask them for case studies, uh, look at their social media history as well. So um, for, on YouTube and Facebook, I've been doing this for the last decade now, and if you troll through uh, various social media platforms that I'm on, um, you'll see that I've been actively doing this day in, day out, pretty much for well over a decade now. And, and also identify with um, an overall strategy. Ask them what experience they've got as well. Another good point, ask them what experience they've got with your particular case. So if you've got injuries, if you've got certain health issues, ask them what experience they've got about with that particular case. If they've got none, well, go to someone who's a bit more specialized in that particular field. Personally, I have no qualms in telling someone if I'm not an expert in their field. If I feel that I've got a level of confidence in their health issue, then I'll be straight with them. I won't, I won't beat around the bush. I'll just be straight with them, be black and white, and just say how it is. But uh, again, if you're looking for a specialised trainer, do some more research. Uh, also, don't be duped into the whole Instagram and social media thing because um, being in business, I've noticed that there's a lot of celebrities and fitness stars who who buy their social media platform, who also kind of falsify their advertising by looking like they're absolutely shredded and in tip top shape all year round. Uh, if you look at my social media, I get lean and I get a little bit, I get a little bit uh, chubby at times because I'm human, I'm a normal guy and I can fluctuate and now I do this male physique thing, obviously I'm not in prime shape all year round, I'm in peak shape for just a short period and then I come out and then go back in again. Um, so again, don't get don't get deluded by all the the likes and the, the social media hype. Um, look at credentials, look at credibility, and also look at identifying with case studies which are relevant to you, to plain and simply put. So if you do get any questions on um, who to go to, I've got a lot of decent contacts, well over 100 decent trainers who I've come into contact with over the many years. So I've got friends who specialise in particular sports, I've got a friend who trains people in soccer, well, football. Um, I've got contacts who t train Team GB athletes. So again, if it's something specialised you're looking for, send us a message on Facebook or simply comment on my YouTube channel. And like I say guys, don't, don't get duped into the whole uh, social media thing and also identify with value for money as well. Again, buying an ebook for the cost of a personalized plan, well, an ebook is a general book that you, anyone could buy. Something personalized is something that uh, naturally is personalized to you and it should be personalized to you. And one thing you should look at and identify with, especially if you're going on some sort of fitness journey, is measuring your expectations and identifying with plateaus as well. And these are subjects that are on previous videos and I'll discuss them in future videos as well. But um, by identifying with photos and measurements and identifying with statistics generally as well. So if you're into sport, you're not going to be so focused necessarily on uh, aesthetics and how you look in front of a mirror, you're going to be more focused on how you can improve your general performance. Um, so measuring statistics is really key as well. And um, like I say, doing a, a one-off plan with a trainer online should take you 
a short, should be a short thing, short period of things. So eventually you can plateau, you see. So um, if you're going to do a 12 week plan, well, great, do the 12 week plan. And when you get to the 12th week, rather than thinking, oh, what do I do now? What, work something else out. You might go and go from doing an aesthetic, like 12 week plan with a trainer, perhaps online, and you might think to yourself, well, actually, I'll go and do a particular sport or a fitness activity, or I'll go and do one of these crazy mud runs. And it's not really for me because. I, I, I like uh, keeping all pretty and this that new. I'm joking. Um, so yeah, online plans. See them as a short-term thing, and always challenge your plateaus, and don't trust the bullshit out there. Have a great day.